Crime on the CTA is up 40% this year. Last month, the city began adding more unarmed security guards. And been tight lipped about just how many until now. Our Tara Molina is getting answers. I'm told these security guards are working every day of the week, hundreds of them, with more being trained right now. But with these continued violent crimes, is their presence making a difference? I'm asking. Between 200 and 220 unarmed security guards, our city leader's response to increasing crime on the CTA, are on the transit system every single day. The goal is to get to 300 on patrol, with a number of guards still in training, training that includes de-escalation and conflict resolution. They're brand new updates from a CTA spokesperson who, until now, hadn't addressed any of our questions about the security patrols for weeks. But what have those 200 or so guards prevented so far? Are they spread out or working in groups? Still no answers. With the lion's share of the violent crimes on CTA trains, buses, platforms and stations still unsolved. We've plotted them out. Here's a look at some of what we've tracked this month. Chicago police telling us all but one of more than 10 violent crimes are still under investigation. With Senator Dick Durbin and Representative Jesus Chuy Garcia sending this letter to the head of the CTA this week, saying in part, more needs to be done to protect CTA's frontline workers and passengers, given the alarming increase in crime on the CTA system. Police Superintendent David Brown addressed this uptick this week. He says CPD has added officers to the trains and they're focusing on crime hotspots. Reporting in River North, I'm Tara Molina. CBS 2 News.